like to continue with a nice little sequence. Let's hold the ball. Present the ball. Dip the hips so we can pull the energy in the ball into the abdomen or dantian as we go down, breathing in as we go down and breathing out as we go up. It depends on your effort, where you put the, um, the effort. The emphasis is on the mind to breathe out. So we're going to push up again, twisting, one hand up, the other hand goes down. So it's a little firmer, and we're breathing out. Relax the hands. Let's pull the hip back, breathe in. Breathe out. Down on the knee, we stretch the hamstring, so just warm up the muscle. For one, two, three. You can grab the toe, pull yourself down with the ankle or the, or the toe. And then another three seconds. One, two, three. See. Yeah, so we're going to stretch up the shoulder, pull the hip back down, and then we look to the opposite side. For one, two, three. Cover the balance and close. So we hold the ball. Just gonna step over a little bit. So we're balancing on the other hip. Slide up the foot. So again, this is a nice optional little stretch. We can put two hands on the knee, pull the hip back, stretch the lower back. It's good if you have pain in your back. There's a pressure point called the doorway to life. We can really stretch for one. Two, three, and then I'm pushing down, warming up the hamstrings. Really important to warm up the muscles and before we stretch. It's another three seconds. The toe or the ankle, pull yourself down. For one, two, three. And now we can stretch up the shoulder. Down goes the hip. Look into the opposite side for one, two, three. Everything is tight. And then the opposite of tighten, loosen, you feel the warmth flowing through the whole body. So that's the first part. Every exercise has about three, to three or four parts. Uh, the continuation is a step back, sitting back. And we want to, this is the crane opens wings. Classic Tai Chi posture. You want to check the elbow facing the side, the other arm facing the other side. Okay, so everything has to be just right. I'm going to bring up the knee, push up the toe. You're supposed to go back, but I'm limited in space. 
cross, lunge forward, and with the weight on the front, we go up and down. So again, elbow facing the side, other elbow facing the opposite side, and hold it. One, two, three. So I'm going to try the second part with the other side. So let's step back with the opposite leg. And all the weight has transferred back, about 99%. Let's try. So we're not sure about the hands, which hand goes where. If that's your, um, let's say your left leg. I'm like a mirror. Okay, so I'm a mirror to my student. So left leg, left arm. And then the other arm goes up. And we just sit back for one, two, three. So I have all the weight on the back. I can turn a little bit sideways to kick out. Cross, lunge. The weight on the front. This is like a simulated leaping up into the air. Change hands. And one, two, three. The last thing you want to do is align your back. You want to keep your back as, as relaxed as possible. When the back is more relaxed, you feel it in the leg. So that's what you want to check towards the end of every posture. That the leg is doing more work and the back is working less. 